2002, I think it might have been, we, um, some of us took a decision to form a development committee, especially to, um, to buy our own pitches. And after raising a lot of money, we, uh, we approached um, our local farmer and member, Paddy McNichol. Sean O'Neill and uh, Derek McFeely and Paddy, and they landed with me and that was muted that we should, that they had a notion of looking to buy eight acres of me. We drove up his laneway to his house and uh, Paddy met us at the door and brought us in. And we went into the, his kitchen table where we all sat down. Oh, they came in and the, the first time whenever we were chatting about it, we went to the kitchen and we sat and blathered about it in the kitchen and the whole thing was, it was completed in the front room, you know. We decided that we could come to an agreement and with us all be teetotalers, we, it was just over a cup of tea probably. Whenever we, myself and my wife and them discussed it, we decided it was the best for everybody concerned and definitely it was best for the community. Doing the deal with Paddy was very easy uh, because um, he wanted the club to have the pitch and he wanted to see um, development for a club that he has been a member of a, an absolute lifetime. Sean and, and Derek were definitely very, and from the very start, they were the pushers to make the boys agree to go on with this whole situation whenever we first discussed it. And it didn't take a terrible long time for whenever they said, we're go. Paddy, we're going to go. And I says, right, you go and I'll go. And that was Sean and Derek, and there's a lot down to them. Very badly must, very, very badly must. And their, their, their names will live here for a long time with that generation of people, so they will. Because there, there's no way this would have went, went on without the push of the pair of them. Most definitely the push of Sean. Or sure, fellas, I used to call them. The development started and it's taken a few years to get us to where we are now but um, probably the best way to describe that is um, what we have today is what we what we had uh, sort of promised Paddy that we were we intended to do. That makes us feel very very proud that every time we go up and look into it that, that, that uh, the work that has been done and has still been ongoing and the, the amount of people and you go up there on a Sunday morning or maybe a Saturday morning and the, the amount of cars and people at blitzes and one thing or another and the, the, the entertainment that they have in this new complex that they've built, it makes you feel very proud to be associated with it. <laughs>